Hello everyone and welcome to the 2008 Ray Bork Charity Golf Tournament. It's a picture perfect day at the beautiful Golf Club of New England in Stratham, New Hampshire. The golfers and their celebrity guests are ready to hit the links, have some fun, and raise a whole bunch of money for charity. And with Celebrities for Charities, we've donated over $2 million over the last seven years uh, in terms of memorabilia and funds. And, uh, you know, the golf tournament really goes a long way of, of raising funds to do that. Well, first of all, when the Godfather calls you and says, you know, I have a golf tournament, we'd like you to come and play, I don't think there's any other alternative other than yes. Um, you know, I live 20 miles south of Boston, and to make a 10 o'clock tea time is kind of difficult. But you do it because you know what it's all about, you know what Ray stands for, and the human being that he is. And when he attaches his name to an event that's going to raise money for where it should go, then you got to take part, and we're glad to be here, trust me. Stay left. You know, I played for a bunch of different organizations, so I'm in touch with a lot of the alumni programs, and the Boston Bruins, I would say, is right in the top two or three as far as uh, player involvement. You know, a lot of guys that didn't grow up in Boston, like I did, end up sticking around here because they love living in Boston. Along with a full roster of retired players, there are also current NHLers, like Sergei Samsonov, Sean Thornton, and Tim Thomas. And while you might think athletes like that in the prime of their careers would be the best golfers out here, you'd be wrong. Apparently, retired hockey players play a lot of golf. I think it does somewhat uh, lie with the retired players because they just hit it straight and, and uh, us, the, the current hockey players, we're still developing our golf game where, where they've, they've learned a little bit more of the ends of you usually see older guys playing better, you know, and I think that's just the fact that, you know, you get to practice a little more and uh, you learn uh, you, you learn a little bit about the game, you know, so I, uh, I definitely like the game and, uh, you know, uh, hopefully, like I said, I'll get better at some point. With so many hockey players slash golfers out on the course, there was one player who was a fish out of water, a mad fish. Welcome to the Ray Bork Golf Tournament here at the Golf Club of New England in Stratham, New Hampshire. I'm Charlie Moore, the mad fisherman. Guess what? I'm in the woods. Because <laughs> I wasn't invited. <laughs> the Charlie Moore? Is this Charlie's tournament or is this Raymond's tournament? I'm going to take a swing. i got a bad shoulder. I heard Bobby Orr sucks at golf, too. I think Bobby Orr sucks at golf. He can't fish, either. <laughs> See? I took out the Billy Baru club. And I crushed it. No. Ah. John, Larry, John Havlicek does it right. Larry, the girl off golf yet, Bob, I'm trying to do a show here. I mean, you're just yelling and stuff. You're stepping on me hard. Celebrity guests and all the players are here to help raise money for celebrities for charity. They are also here to pay their respects, not just to Ray Bork, the hockey player, but to Ray Bork, the man. He's been a great teammate, obviously, and uh, he helped me a lot uh, when I first started out my career with the Boston. And, uh, you know, see him doing uh, things like that around around the city, you know, even though he, he really doesn't have to, you know, it's, it's, it's incredible. And, you know, he's a great person. He's, uh, he's been great for the city of Boston. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be part of this tournament. That's going to wrap things up from the 2008 Ray Bork Charity Golf Tournament. By any measure, it's been an incredible day. Lots of fun, great camaraderie, and a whole bunch of money raised for a great cause.